was already very difficult. Facing an 0-2 series hold to the Miami Heat in the first round of the playoffs became cartoonishly hard for the New York Knicks in the moments following their Game 2 defeat. Apparently frustrated by the 104-94 loss, All-Star forward Amari Stoudemire punched a fire extinguisher with his left hand, cutting it badly. Initially, paramedics and a stretcher were brought into the Knicks locker room, but they left without him. However, it is believed that Stoudemire had to get stitches, and he left American Airlines Arena with his left arm in a sling, leaving the Knicks in a quandary and trying to face Game 3 with the possibility that they'll have to play it without him. Uh, you know, I, I can't comment on that. We just know right now that uh, he has a laceration, and, uh, you know, he's probably going to be out. When you say out, you mean out for the next game or out for the series? I don't know how bad it is, so... Well, what does that, if he's out for even a game, what does that do for this team? Uh, it's tough, obviously. You know, Amari is, is a huge piece to this team, and, uh, you know, without him, it's, it's going to make it more difficult. We already lost one player, and, you know, if there's two players out of the starting lineup, you know, it makes it tougher. Did you see anything or hear anything? I haven't seen anything. I haven't heard anything. I'm I'm trying to find out something right now. So. All right, thanks. Are you, Come on. Are you uh, if, if he can't play? Obviously, that's a huge, huge loss for you guys. How on earth do you come back? How on earth do you prepare to get ready? You got to prepare for the next game. I mean, the guys who's, who's, you know, who's in that position, I mean, we got to come together as a team and keep fighting. That's all we can do at this point. Is that disappointing to you personally that someone would do something to hurt this team like that? You know, it, it, it's tough. You know, your emotions run high and, uh, you know, Split second decision can obviously alter things, and you know you can't fault anybody because I'm obviously a person that you know has high emotions at times. So one 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 quick decision, make a mistake, and you know now now you got to deal with the repercussions. The Knicks will not practice on Tuesday, but Stoudemire certainly will have to face the music on Wednesday. For a team that's already down without Amon Shumpert out for the series with a torn ACL. With Jeremy Lin still limping after arthroscopic surgery, Chandler still feeling the effects of the flu, and Baron Davis playing with a bad back, the last thing they needed was their $100 million player brought to New York to bring stability to the franchise, taking himself out of the series. That's the story from Miami. I'm David Aldridge. All right, D.A. Amari left the arena without a comment, but he uh, did send out this tweet. I'm so mad at myself right now. I want to apologize to the fans and my team. Not proud of my actions. Headed home for a new start. I want to ask you guys more or less what D.A. asked Tyson Chandler, and that's about uh, your reaction as a teammate. This is the second time in 24 hours we've seen a guy remove himself from a playoff series, at least temporarily, because he couldn't keep his composure. A less dramatic example with Rajon Rondo yesterday uh, he's now suspended for a game. We'll get to that later on. And now Amari Stoudemire, who looks like he's likely to be out for a game three. As a teammate, what goes through your head when this happens? Well, you just say, my teammate did something stupid. You know, one thing about sports, we have to always shake together. But you have to admit, oh, man, that was a dumb move. It was that plain and simple. But the question I got to ask, why didn't he hit the thing when they lost by 35? Uh, the other day. They only lost by 10 tonight. Seemed like he would have broke his arm the other day and hit the thing when they lost by 50. He might have hit it, but he ain't the glass this yeah. time. You know, but you know, Matt, you know, you, he going to get killed in New York. Oh, yeah, clearly, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Gonna be, uh, the back pages of the, the oh, yeah. tabloids tomorrow, I can oh, only yeah. imagine. You, you know, he going to be so much on the paper tomorrow, you're going to think they won tonight.